Welcome back to my channel. Today I am making my whipped body cream. Um, I like body butter, but I think that the skin needs more. It needs hydration. And so I make a whipped body cream. It's really like body butter, but it has a water factor. Hang on, I forgot the aloe. I'll be right back. Okay, now I've got it pulled together, I think. Okay, I'm going to start in this container by putting my, my butters and my waxes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start with my Shea. This is a pretty small batch. See, lots of butters. Okay, the shea is in. I'm gonna keep my handy dandy wash cloth so that I can keep control of this mess. Okay, and now I'm gonna put in my cocoa. Come on. Oh, my hands are greasy. <laughs> Okay, and now the cocoa butter is in. And now my e-wax, which I know I brought. Okay, why didn't I have this open? I'm sorry, guys. Okay. I need a better way of getting this e-wax out, I tell you. View. I am dropping it everywhere. Ooh, too much, Nicole, too much, too much. Okay. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. A couple pieces of flying around here. And now my BTMS 50. I was like, I know I brought it over. I get it from Brambleberry. You can get it a lot of places. You can get it at Lotion Crafters. That one's empty. And of course, I didn't open the new one. Oh, thank God for Brambleberry and their easy open pouches. <laughs> This is, makes it so luxurious, it really does. It's not, it's not inexpensive, but it is luxurious. Okay, now I'm gonna put my oils in here. I'm gonna start with my avocado. Oh, I gotta go get some more avocado oil. Well, it's no wonder I use it in absolutely everything. My sunflower oil. And now my rice bran oil, which I know I brought over. And then I put it somewhere. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. Did you guys see that? I just literally got oil. Rice bran oil everywhere. All right. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm 
It is the season for roasting turkey, so I'm gonna hop on over and get me a whole bunch of rice bran oil, just for these. I really don't use it much in soap, sometimes. Okay, now I'm gonna take all of this and I'm going to melt it down. Put that over there. While that is melting down, I am going to get my water portion ready. Yes, and believe it or not, this is a small batch. Oh, too much, Nicole, too much. Oh, I am really on it today. Oh my God, too little. Okay, okay. Come on, we can do this. Okay, over there. And now my glycerin. Okay, and now I'm going to wait and I'll put this in with the, the oils in a few minutes. So I will take you over there so you can watch it melt. Welcome back. Okay, so now these are within 10 degrees of each other. I'm going to go ahead and combine them. And then I am going to stick blend for a while. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not. Why am I not? Why is it not working? Oh. I have. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. That is weird. Okay, I have to get out my other stick blender. I'm not thrilled about that, let me tell you. <laughs> Hopefully it'll work. If the other one doesn't work, then we know it's something to do with my plug. Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord.
feeling that one was going out. Alright. Well, let's give this one a whirl. This one's a real pain. <laughs> Preservative in, and then I'll pour some off for my daughter before I add my fragrance. stick blender. <laughs> wow, that's habit for me. Okay. I'm going to pour some of this off for my daughter. Lord, get off of there. <laughs> Hers I'm not going to worry about whipping. Okay. We will see how she does with that. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to add my fragrance oil. Which is... Eucalyptus spearmint. There we are. Okay. Now, the sides are making me a little crazy, guys. I got to scrape these down. No, I probably just made it worse. Uh, okay. Okay, we're going to stick in just a couple more minutes, and then I'm going to let it cool completely, and then we'll mix it, and then we'll blend it. cool enough to mix with the mixer. Okay guys, welcome back. And we are now ready to whip this body butter, I hope. <laughs> Let's get started. This cord is making me crazy. <laughs> I'm 
forgot to say off camera I had totally forgot to put in the oatmeal so I put in my oatmeal um, it's really good for the skin so this has Colodia oatmeal in it piping bag here. Okay. Let's pipe away. Oh, I love this stuff. It's awesome. And it feels so good on your skin. like the best of both worlds. You get the soap. I mean, sorry. You get the body butter and the lotion. It's just, it's really amazing. It took me forever to come up with this too. So, this recipe. I just took a basic body butter recipe and, and a lotion recipe and kind of combined them a little bit. <laughs> my body butter recipe and my lotion recipe and then I combined them. Because, uh, yeah, I don't like the greasy feeling of body butters. And I know you can use arrowroot and what have you, but just and I just really feel like your skin needs the moisture although body butter the butters will lock in moisture if you use it right after you get out of the shower it'll lock in the moisture that's on you don't dry first but this will too because it's got the same butters in it oh don't do that. Yeah, it's got the same yummy butters as body butter. But it's got the aloe in it. This one needs a little bit more. Okay, actually I think this one needs a little bit more too. Okay. Okay, I need to refill the bag here. Yeah, the bag starts getting a little messy. And I forgot my rag. I always keep my bleach rag close. This might be the last time, guys. definitely be the last haul. My daughter, my, the one I made unscented, she doesn't care much about this stuff, except for that she needs it. 
But my other daughter, the one that lives in California, she's going to be so excited. She's been, if you see my Instagram, her name is Zoya, and you'll see her on my Instagram. When are you making the body butter? When are you making the body butter? Because, you know, we can only make this in the winter. goodness down there. This will be the last jar. Not only that, I don't think I can fill it all the way. This will be Zoya's. It's almost full, baby girl. Okay, guys. The Eucalyptus Spearmint Body Cream Butter. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it will notify you of all my future videos. And please leave me a comment down below. Um, I really, really love all your guys' comments. Thank you so much. You guys have really like become a second family to me. And uh, I just appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. So thank you so much and have a great day.